Hi everyone, I'm Lydia. I'm a program coordinator with Solano Resource Conservation District. And in partnership with the city of Benicia, we bring you the Benicia Water Education Program, where you get to learn about exactly where your water is coming from, how your wastewater gets cleaned, and ways that you can protect water here in Benicia. We're at Lake Herman. We know that it's one of our sources of drinking water here in Benicia, but it's also home to a lot of animals and birds. Maybe you visited here with your family, riding your bike or walking your dog. Let's go explore and see who exactly lives here at Lake Herman. Lake Herman is just on the other side of Community Park. So if you've ever played a baseball game there, or maybe you've enjoyed the giant cement slide, it's just right over the hill. To the north are Sulphur Springs Creek, where our water is draining into Lake Herman, filling up the reservoir and then making its way down south to Sulphur Creek that flows out into the Carquita Strait, our watershed. I also noticed surrounding the lake our neighborhood and the water treatment plant where you can actually see the tanks up on the hill. Not only is Lake Herman a beautiful place for us to visit, an important place for plants and animals to thrive and live in, but it's also one of our three sources of tap water here in Benicia. We have our first water source, which is the Sacramento River, our second, Lake Berryessa, and our third, Lake Herman. It's our backup resource. So in case of a drought or emergency, we can pull from this reservoir when we need to. That's really special that Benicia has this resource, so it's so important for us to take care of it and protect this waterway. Not only is Lake Herman an important source of water for us here in Benicia, but it's the water that plants and animals need to survive and thrive. Let's go check out who exactly is in the water and around Lake Herman. There's so much life here. We've seen geese and ducks up in the grassland. There are coyotes and rabbits. And here with just one scoop of my net, I've picked up so many different types of macroinvertebrates, tiny little creatures living in this water, including some larvae of dragonflies. Now they need healthy, clean water so that they can develop and grow into adult form. So it's up to us to keep this place beautiful and to protect it. Can you think of ways that you can help protect Lake Herman? Next time that you visit, what can you do? Maybe you make sure that no trash ends up in the water by picking up after yourself. Maybe if you have a dog, make sure that they leave nothing behind. We like to remind our students to leave no trace. My name's Lydia, I'm with Solano Resource Conservation District and the Benicia Education Water Program. Learning about where your water sources are coming from to where your wastewater travels to to get cleaned and now exploring Lake Herman. Please come visit this beautiful reservoir right in your backyard and share with us your observations. You can check us out at solanorcd.org. Thanks for watching.